so hello and good day good evening welcome to my next tutorial today we'll be learning how to make a bottle of whiskey as you can see here the you know, custom label that I made feel free to use it have some fun with it I did so today we will learn how to model this mesh make the bottle and then we'll learn how to UV unwrap the label so without further ado let's begin okay so first what we want to do is we want to add some sort of stencil uh, some kind of blueprint it'll just make it a lot easier to create the actual bottle so the way to do that let me just get this back in the center actually first let me get that going on so yes hit N to bring up this menu here and what we want to do is we want to add a background image. And why am I not seeing this? Okay, background image. You want to check that. Hit this little arrow here. And you want to go to add image. I'll have the link to this particular image also on my website. And again, feel free to use them for whatever you want. Okay, so we're going to open a file. And the file I want. Uh, desktop whiskey bottle and whiskey stencil okay and you're only going to see that background image if you're in orthographic view to get this started simply so let me have this toolbar here add a plane and what I want to do with this plane is I want to add some cuts to it seven on the y-axis and seven on the x-axis so whoop, excuse me just double tap and then in your tool tab tap this to seven okay excuse me and we're going to seven again Okay, now make sure that you're using just the vertices. I'll show you a quick way to highlight the vertices you want. I want to connect, grab all the vertices on the outside. You can just hit C and you can just scroll right around and circle them all. Might be a little bit easier doing it that way. Okay. And let me drag this down to the bottom. Now the process to make this kind of mesh is very simple. You're simply extruding the vertices that you want up. <laughs> That's all there is to it. It's it, it, it's really simple. Okay, so let's again let's size this. And we actually don't need this toolbar anymore. And you don't have to make it exact. Again, the the idea is it's an outline, a guide. All right, so let's size this again, right there. Again, we only have the outside vertices selected. And I also like to have it so that all you're seeing is the vertices. It's just easier when you're moving things around. Like if I extrude this, it's just easier rather than you know you're fighting to see what's there. Okay, so let's begin. We're gonna hit E to extrude, and you get this action right here. Hit Z, so you're extruding and only pulling in this particular direction. Okay, so now what we can do, you can be as precise as you want. You don't have to be. I'm gonna show you a simple way to be precise. And again, it's just it's using actual numbers when you're extruding something. So I'm gonna hit extrude, and I'll say Z axis 0 0.05, okay? I'm going to hit it again, extrude Z 0 0.05, and I'm going to size it by 1.05, okay? And then if I repeat that process, Z, oh, excuse me, extrude Z 0 0.05, and then size 1.05, extrude Z and bring it to right there. 
Now I can extrude Z.05, size 0.95, and then extrude Z.05, extrude Z, whoops, size 0.95. So this is in the same exact plane as that right there. So now I'm going to extrude to where the label is going to start. All right. And so it's just easier when we're UV unwrapping the label. I'm just going to extrude and then Z all the way up. So it's just this one whole block. That's the label. It'll be much easier to just track down. Okay. I'm going to extrude. Z. Now we're going to repeat that process before. Extrude Z.05, size 1.05. Again, extrude Z.05, size 1.05. Extrude Z. It's going to be a little bit different because we're going to have the actual roll of the neck. So we're just going to extrude Z, bring it up to there, and we're not going to make it. We're not going to match the bottom, so we're going to just hit S to size it and then just drag in. And again, just make it as you know as close as you want. Extrude Z. Whoops, something just went haywire. Z, size it down. Okay, so that's about as far as we're going to get with that first square. Now what I want to add is I want to add a circle with exactly 32 vertices. Okay, so now let's add that circle. Make sure that your cursor is back to uh, the center point. Shift A, we're going to add a mesh, we're going to add a circle, and we're going to bring that right up to here. Hit seven, and we're going to size this down. To be right there. Uh, is that perfect? That's perfect. Okay. Now you can do one of two things. You can make this circle part of the same mesh by clicking both and then hitting control J and then connecting all these vertices or to save us a little bit of time and to practice using the mirror modifier what we can do is this a box select this entire half a box select this quarter delete those vertices Okay, so now we can go over here to our modifier tab, and we're going to add the mirror modifier. It starts off with the X, and we're going to hit. Excuse me, we're going to hit it with the Y. Okay, and make sure that clipping is connected. So now we just have to do a little bit of the work, a quarter of the work to be exact. Okay. So we're just going to click these tabs and then hit F for face. You just put in this so it'll be a little bit easier to see in this mode. Just click these four vertices, then hit F, make another face. We're going to repeat that process. getting there. I figure this should be kind of a fun tutorial to learn a couple basic techniques are quite handy. Okay. So there you go. That saves us some time and then we can just apply the modifier and that whole thing is done now. Simple. So I always do that. Oops. 
and box select that top row. Got everything that we need. Now let's begin. Size it down. Yeah, let's size that down. Bring that down right there. Size it again. Yeah, we'll do that. Extrude to there. Extrude right past that. And that'll be that lip part. And we're going to extrude Z. We're going to start to size it out. Here we're not going to make it perfect. We're just going to bang right through this. Size that out. There, that's where our black label will start. Extrude Z. Extrude. Whoops. I know we got all kinds of things going on. All right. Extrude Z. Let's size this down and try to get that as uniform as possible. Make it look good. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And so now we're going to do, let's extrude, and but this time we're just going to size it out right there, extrude Z. And then I'm going to give this a mean crease later on, and it'll look sharp, and that's what we're looking for on that spot. And we're going to just try to give it a little bit rounded top. The fun part is at this point, you can never make a mistake because it's your own piece of work, it's your own art at this point. Okay. Now with all those vertices selected, I'm just going to hit F to create a face. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there's our bottle of whiskey in all of its glory. Okay, now I also want to hit the little smooth shader and that'll smooth it out. But you get, the, of course, it looks absolutely horrible at this particular time. Okay, I'm going to add a mattifier, uh, subdivision surface. It's going to sharpen it up real good. And we're going to hit it three times under view. And like I told you earlier, this edge here. She don't want that off. Okay. Okay, now we have that whole ring right there selected. I want to hit N to bring up this menu. Scroll down for mean crease. Before we do that, let's see what it looks like. Okay? Now, I'm going to go back into edit mode. And that mean crease, I'm going to change it to 1. Distinct difference. You can play around with it. It doesn't have to be 1. Okay? So creating the actual outside of the bottle is done. It's quite simple. It's quite fast. While I was making the first tutorial, guys, I completely forgot to add in how to add that little ring here on the bottle. So let me just show you quick on how to do that. I completely forgot to add that in. So, and I just threw a, a quick bottle together. So what I'm going to do is I want to box select this row of faces. So B, I'm going to select it all. Okay. And then we're going to extrude and then just hit enter. Okay. And I'm going to size it. So I'm hitting S, holding in shift. And I'm going to press the Z button, which means I'm going to extrude on the Y and the x-axis at the same time. And again, just bring it out to where you want it. And that looks about right. And there we go. So again, sorry for not adding that in the first place. Let's give the bottle a material. Okay, let's get this menu off. I'm gonna go to materials, new, let's call it glass. Get rid of all that. Whoop glass and under for surface we're going to change it from diffuse to guess it glass you got it 
you win the Cupid doll. And for the IOR, I used 1.65. Uh, there's a gray page that shows all the different IORs that you can use. If you're using it for ice, if you're using it for water, it'll give you the right uh, figure so that it'll look as realistic or as close to what you want to make as possible. Okay, so now we have the surface. It's glass. Beautiful. Now you want to add the label. To add the label, let's put our cursor in the center, and we're going to create a new material, and we're going to name that Label. I'm in a very creative mood this night. Okay. So, what I want to do is I want to select all the vertices. Excuse me, I want to select all the faces that will have um, that material on it. So, I want the label to come about. Actually, I can just hit this button here. So everything I select with the box select will be highlighted on both sides. And we want it to come out about that far. Perfect. Let's turn that off. Okay, so now we want to UV unwrap that. But first we have to assign this material to these new or to these faces. So with that highlighted and with that lit up, we're gonna hit assign. Okay. So under color. Let's go to, where do we go, image texture, open. I have it under whiskey tutorial, and that is my JD whiskey bottle. Okay. So all I really care about is this front face for now. So I'm going to go to the UV editing. All right. Highlight that picture. There we go. Took some time to make that. I had some fun with it. Hope you guys do too. All I'm going to highlight right now, actually, that's what I should have changed up. I'm just going to do the front face first. Okay. So UV unwrap and project from view. And if we hit this down here, Texture, we can see what we're working with. Clearly, I screwed something up. That is not right. Okay, and now how to add the actual label. All right. What we need to do is we need to actually add two cuts, and that's what I did. Quickly, I just control R, brought that up, made a cut there, and made a cut there. Okay, that's all we did. Let me just get that off. So now to add the actual label, this is what we got to do. I'm select faces, and I want to select with box select here, right down to there. I'm going to rotate it to the side view so we can get both sides at the same time. I'm going to box select to there. Oh, we missed the spot. Okay. Okay. Whoop. Perfect. Now we're going to select label. And we're going to assign that. Okay. So. Let's turn that off. And I want to select just the front. That's all that I care about, the front face, for now. Okay, and let's go up here and go to the UV editing tab, or window, excuse me. Okay, and I had already gone in and clicked this picture here and clicked the picture that we wanted to use. I want this to be in texture mode. You project from view. Okay. And we're going to grab this here and center it as much as you can. And we're going to size it. Let's 
Let's just zoom in a little bit so we can see that perfectly. And for the record, the label was from a very famous American brandy. Excuse me. <laughs> very famous American whiskey. And I just, I, I took the label and I just made it my own and I played around with it and just had some fun. So maybe I get a laugh out of it. Okay. And so I want to size this on the Y axis. Whoops, excuse me. Size this on the X axis. It confuses me sometimes the way they set it up. Okay. This is going to be fixed after the fact. We're not worried about that. That is not bad. That's what I'm looking for right there. Okay. So, to do the sides, rotate that. And we know what we're looking for. We're going to, whoops, let's deselect what we already have. Box select. And there we go. And we're going to hit U and then project from view. Grab that guy. Move it there. And I don't know why it bumped us out, but let's go back to texture view. Size that up. And now size it on the x axis. So let's see how this looks. That's looking good. All right, now this one will get close to there. Okay, we're going to deselect what we already had. Hit B. And we should have been a little bit lower. Oh, well, this will be perfect. Oh, what am I doing? One row too far back. Okay. Got that. I'm going to hit U. Project from view. And we're doing the other side. Okay, and I got that, that cool skull. I got it from a great website for free fonts. I'll have the links all on my website. Check it out. All right, let's size that up a little bit. And we're going to size it on the x-axis. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's a label right there. Nice. So there's that. It's exactly what I wanted. We got a UV unwrap right up here. So we're going to box select the top. U, project from view. Let's size this down. And we're just going to hide this right down here. Let's rotate it. And all we want to do is just make that entire thing black. And that'll be fine. Oh, silly me. I need to assign that. Assign. That should have made everything perfect. Let's go back to UV editing. Ah, voila. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to select these vertices right here, these faces. And I'm going to take that logo that's right over here and pop that on. Let's size that down right there. Let's size it on the X axis. Whoa. OK. 
kill this somehow. All right, we'll go back and we'll fix that. I must have gone back somehow, some way, but we'll fix it. Okay, so we're back. Sorry, uh, you know, when you have a couple long days, you make some dumb mistakes. Yesterday was my youngest son's first birthday, and it was a long day. But here we are. We're back. Now, to add the finishing touches to the bottle, the actual uh, whiskey that this is modeled after has its name written on all four sides on this top section and then all four sides on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some text and that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to go to another side, another layer, excuse me. I'm going to add a layer of text. And if you have never done text before, well, you're going to learn it now. So we're going to add text. I'm going to rotate it on the uh, x-axis by 90 degrees. And we're going to call it Miguel Barroso. Okay, so let's go over here to this menu for the font. I'm going to change a couple things. We're going to change the alignment to center. I think it's a lot easier to work with. And I want to add a particular font that I really like. It's called Daniel. And I found it on, again, this great website. I'll have the link posted on my website. And for the record, I, I'm, I'm using a Mac. And this is how you add font in a Mac. In this section here, you click your folder. And we're looking for my user, library, fonts, and Daniel. And I like that. I think it's kind of cool. So we want to change it in a couple different ways because right now it's two-dimensional. There's nothing to it. Okay, we're going to uh, extrude it. Point, is it one that I used? Let's see. Yeah, point one is actually more than enough, but it'll be fine for this. And we're going to add, we're actually going to up the resolution just by one. You don't got to get crazy. And then the, de uh, excuse me, the bevel, to give it a, a little extra oomph. Granted, it, it's a small detail, it's just the name on the glass, but when you're the artist, you're making the details, you know it's there, you know you want it to be perfect, so go for it. Okay, so what can happen with certain fonts, and you're going to see this, especially on the eye, let me highlight this. Okay, now I'm going to go into bevel, and all of a sudden, you can see right here some of the vertices get just get just wild and start shooting out. You see well, what's going on there. Now you can get it to where you want it. Forget the crazy vertices. We can fix that. Okay, but I think that's the only place that it happens, right? On the I and the G here, or it matters. Yeah. So depth of three. I'm gonna you see what that looks like without it. Depth of two, I think, is just enough that works. Okay, and we're not going to do any of the offset. This is exactly what I want. So now to change this, because right now this is an actual curve. It's not a mesh that we can manipulate. So to change this curve to a mesh, you can hit Alt-C and curve from mesh, to, excuse me, mesh from curve to text. And now it's an actual mesh that you can manipulate like anything else. So let's go back to that problematic area, and I'm going to click Edge right here. And let's just select. Apparently, there's multiple. That's not what I want to do. Hang on. Boom. I'm going to go to vertices. See it all, baby. Alright, let's see if we can just hide you. 
Oh, there's more of you guys. All right, let's select all of you. Go back home. You don't belong out here. All right, so it's hidden in its dungeon, and that's fine. And let's fix this G. Box select. And there's more of you, I see ya. Oh yeah, we'll take care of you, the rest of you, don't you worry. Okay. You find sir can go home. There we go. Now, no one will ever notice that it's not perfect, and I don't actually care, so it's fine. Hey, now, I don't know what's going on here, but let's fix this. Well, we got some things going on tonight. <laughs> All right. Size that guy down, and... There's no loose face, right? Yeah. All right, we're good. Okay. So. So, I'm going to take this mesh here, and I'm going to just copy it. Shift-D. I'm going to hit M to bring it to the layer that I want. This way, I just have a, a layer that's untouched, and it's, and it's in its natural state. Okay. What I want to do now is I want to add the mirror modifier. Excuse me. I want to add the subsurface modifier to our object here. I'm going to apply it. Okay. And then I'm going to grab the font. I'm going to size this down. Let's say a little smaller. Okay. And let's bring that out. I'm also going to copy it. Shift D. Grab it. Z. So we can work with it down there. Okay. So for this point, I just probably want to rotate it. looks just about perfect for me. Let's come down here. Grab that. And let's pop that out. Okay. So, do that. Click both. And let's copy. Shift D. We're going to rotate on the Z axis by 180. And we're just going to slide that over to there. We're looking good. Okay, so now we're going to do the left and right side. <laughs> or I should say the other two sides. All right. Have that. So now we have all four labels selected at once. We're going to shift D, copy, rotate Z axis by 90 degrees. All right, it's not going to be perfect, but close. Let's just see if we need to operate with the mesh mode. Similar to Depeche mode. For all you 80s kids out there. You know, ladies and gentlemen, 
We're looking pretty damn good. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, the just about finished product. Oh, silly me. I need to actually uh, make all those part of the mesh. No way being a pain. Let's see. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Okay, so now that we have all pieces connected or highlighted, we're going to turn them all into one mesh. So Alt-J. So that's all one piece right there. Okay. Let's label it. Whiskey bottle. You know. Tell you, if you knew me personally, you'd know that all my buddies love to rag on me for my spelling techniques, which are horrible. Okay, so let's get an idea on what we're looking at here. Let's go into a quick render. There's your whiskey bottle, guys. Um, again, it, it, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's an effective technique. Let me add some lighting, actually, just so you can get a better idea on what that looks like. Okay, so this should give you a better idea on, you know, what it's going to look like. Just give it a little bit of color. And there you go. That's your finished whiskey bottle. Um, hope you learned something. Hope you came away with a couple tips. Please visit my website, MiguelBarrosoStudios.com, where we'll have all the links uh, to the font websites, to the labels, to the actual stencil, the whole deal. Again, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Much appreciated. Keep on blending, folks. Good night.